You guys, what is up? And welcome back to a brand new video here today on the channel. Today, we're going to be going over my tackle bag. So yeah, let's get right into today's video. Alright guys, so like I said, today I'm going to be going over this here tackle bag and all the stuff inside of it. Basically, everything I have in here is essential for every time I go fishing. This is the stuff that I'm using on a daily basis when I go out fishing. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it uh, with the first little compartment here. Alright, so let's first go over some of these smaller side compartments pretty quickly. So in this first one, I just have some soft plastic swim baits since they did not fit in the other compartments. Just nicely racked in here. I have some Guggen baits, Saucy Swimmers, as well as some Biospawn Exoswims and some Rage Swimmers. So uh, that's in the first little compartment. Alright, so in the second side compartment, I just have my scale and fish grips, which is always important when you're... Uh, going fishing just in case you catch a big fish. So uh, that's pretty important in the other side pouch. All right, the next compartment that I have stuff in, and this is gonna be the final kind of minor compartment. That's gonna be this one on the top, which I just have uh, some braided line in here. I'm gonna have some other line as well, some pliers in here, but I don't have them right now. So I have to get my hands on some of those. And that is what's gonna go in this compartment as well. Okay, so the first main compartment we have is this big one on the bottom. And this is the one that I'm going to keep all of my tackle trays in. And, uh, which is pretty much going to house all of my hard baits, as well as some terminal tackle and stuff like that. So let's get the, the first little tray out here. Alright, so here's the box right here. I just have a Shop Carls and Guggen Squad stickers on the top of it. This is going to house uh, some of my topwater baits and some of the baits that I'm going to have tied on pretty much every time I go fishing. Some of my favorite baits of all time are in this box. I got two topwater Guggen Squad Filthy Frogs as well as the Guggen Squad Blooper, which is a topwater popper. I got a little flat-sided Scribble crankbait. I got some other miscellaneous crankbaits and lures on the bottom there. I also have some of my favorite baits of all time, some of the baits I've caught the most and biggest fish on in this compartment. And that is the little swim jig as well as some chatter baits in here. Some of my favorites are the Guggen Squad brand swim jigs and chatter baits, the clickbait and the grass hero, but really any brand will do. Some of my favorite baits, especially for the summertime. Two of my other favorite baits in here, the buzz bait, which I don't use too often, but when I do, um, I definitely have some luck on it, as well as the spinner bait in the back, which I'm not using all the time, but it's always good to have a spinner bait because it can put together a great pattern if you get the right condition. So that's the first box that I have in kind of, kind of hard bait and uh, tackle tray spot in my tackle bag. All right, so here's the next box in there. I just took this out of the same compartment as that last one, and this is going to house a lot more of, uh, of my hard baits. And this one's a little bit more full as well. Again, these are the baits that I'm going to be using on a daily basis when I go out fishing. I do have some more lures that are not in this bag, but the ones I have in here are the ones I'm confident in and the ones that I'm going to be using regularly when I'm going fishing. So up here, I just got some jointed swim baits, just a, a little Bass Pro Shops brand one, as well as the Mike Buka Baby Bull Shad, which I've caught some of my biggest fish of the year on this bait right here. And if you haven't seen this one... You should definitely pick that up. And here I just got some uh, Square Bull Crankbaits. I got a Guggen Squad brand one. I have a Lucky Craft as well as a Strike King brand one in here. Some of my favorite baits in here as well. The Jerk Bait, which is probably one of my favorite baits of all time right there. Uh, that's the Guggen Squad Scout um, right there. I have some other Jerk Baits as well as the Guggen Squad Mini Recon. I don't use deeper diving crankbaits as much, but I definitely have had some luck in them in the uh, right situations. Down here I have some topwater walking baits, um, which is the Guggen Squad Hound, right here in two of these bone colors, which is definitely really cool. And here I got some of my bigger baits and topwater baits. I have a whopper plopper over here, as well as a little topwater mouse lure, which I have yet to catch a fish on, but I'm definitely gonna, come this season, I'm definitely gonna be able to get one on here, hopefully. Next I got a little uh, square bill crankbait. I believe that's another 2.5 Lucky Craft crankbait. I got another little spook as well as a jerk bait and another little uh, square bill here, as well as one of the baits that I've actually caught some fish on, surprisingly, um, which is this six inch swim bait, which I don't use often. I've used it maybe three or four times, but 
pretty much every time I tie this bait on, I at least catch uh, one or two fish. So uh, that's pretty cool. So let's get into the, the next uh, little box here. All right, so we have two more boxes as well as some soft plastics in that first little con uh, compartment in my bag. The first box, or the, the third box I have here is just my jig box. As you can see, I have a bunch of jigs because it absolutely, probably the bait I use most often other than maybe just like a finesse worm or something like that. But I've caught some of my biggest fish. I've caught pretty much the most fish on jigs. And it's just one of my confidence baits, like I said, as with like the chatter bait and the finesse worm and the jig would probably be my, my three confidence baits. Um, but I just got my jig box here. I got a few Goon Squad juicy jigs in here, as you can see right here. I as well got just some finesse jigs um, right as well in here. I've got some various colors. I got some black and blues. I've got some green pumpkins as well as some just uh, crayfish, uh, craw, and creature bait trailers on the backs of some of these jigs uh, that I haven't taken off yet. So that's my jig box right there. And pretty much all these tackle boxes is a Plano waterproof tackle box um, just because they're super durable. As you can see, it did break on this one. But other than that, um, they've been super durable. I haven't had anything break. And I have uh, dropped one of these boxes in the water, and they are watertight. So uh, that's what I'm using to pretty much house all my baits um, in terms of the boxes. Next, we got a pretty boring box, but important. That is our terminal tackle box right here. Um, let's just open this up real quickly. All right, so this is our terminal tackle box. I got a few assorted mini crankbaits in here as well as some spoons and stuff like that. Um, I got my bullet weights right here for Texas rigging. I got some random sinkers in the bottom right here for really whatever. I got some little nail weights for anytime I'm Nico rigging anything, which I don't do often, but it's always important to have an assortment of weights. Next, I got a little Carolina weight, Carolina rig weight in there, as well as some assorted other other weights uh, in there. They're sort of like bullet weights, but not exactly the same. Next, I got some Ned rig jig heads. These are ones that I'm going to be using a lot for both Ned rigging as well as rigging up swim baits on them, kind of as a swim bait jig head kind of a dual function. Next, we just got some larger drop shot kind of weights. They're a bit too big for drop shot weights, um, but that's essentially um, what they're looking like. I got some pegs down here, which are always important and something I always run out of. Next, I got my two that I probably use the most, which are my Texas rigging um, hooks. Some of these I have EWG wide gap hooks, and some of these are straight shank worm hooks as well as some just standard hooks for really rigging whatever. And I think I have a few circle hooks in there for rigging live bait and stuff like that. I'm using smaller circle hooks for uh, wacky rigging finesse worms and stick baits as well. So uh, yeah, that's my terminal tackle box. All right, so the last few things I have in that first major compartment is just a thing of power bait. I really have never used this before, uh, but I figured it's always good to have because why not? Next thing I have is just a value pack of uh, pegs because, like I said, I always run out of these. So one day I figured I'm going to buy a value pack of like a hundred of these things. Um, it was only like $15 and a, it seems for that price it would be pretty cheap. But actually I've used them a couple times and they seem to hold up uh, pretty well. So uh, I got a value pack of these as well as just a few excess soft plastic uh, packages that did not fit in my soft plastic compartment, which we're about to get into in a second. But I just have a few pa uh, packages of this, some Lunker Logs, um, some half-finished Rattle and Ned packages. So uh, let's get into uh, the soft plastic compartment now that we have finished with um, the kind of tackle tray sort of portion of uh, this tackle bag. All right, so now that we have finished with the kind of tackle tray portion of the bag, uh, let's get into the top part, which is right here, uh, which is all of my soft plastics. Before we do, I just want to go over this little uh, cool little container on the top of this bag, which is actually uh, a container for your sunglasses. I did just get this tackle bag as a gift for my birthday, and it's actually really cool. I've been looking at tackle bags in the past, and uh, this is definitely seems to be a, a premium quality uh, bag that I'm going to be able to use for a long time. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the, some of these soft plastics. We'll dump it all out, and uh, we'll go over it. 
All right, so we have the compartment open. I'm just gonna take these out kind of one by one, go over them uh, quickly. But as you can see, I'm a huge fan of Guggen baits, if you couldn't already tell uh, from my videos. And uh, their baits really do work. I'm a fan of their videos, but uh, even, uh, even more than that, their baits really do work. I know some people don't like them, uh, and that's fine, but I really do enjoy uh, their videos as well as their baits. So you're gonna see a lot of, a lot more Guggen baits showing up in the soft plastic section. So uh, yeah. These are really in no particular order. I didn't organize them super well, but on top I just got a few rattling neds. I do have a bunch of rattling neds since I am subscribed to the Guggen Squad shirt of the month. Each month comes with a shirt, piece of apparel, as well as a Guggen bait, and a lot of them do come with rattling neds. So I do have quite a few packages of these, um, which you'll be seeing throughout, as well as some Lunker Logs. Definitely one of my favorite Guggen baits. I've caught actually my biggest bass of the year. Uh, last year came on one of these Guggen Baits 5 inch Lunker Logs. A little bit different color, but these baits really do work. So let's get into some of the, the next baits. Next bait we've got here are just a few assorted Lunker Logs. I have some more right here, as well as some Bandito Bugs. A lot of these are going to be repeats. They're going to be, I have a few packages of each just because I go through them so quickly. But I got some Bandito Bugs here. If you don't know anything about these, it's essentially a creature bait. My number one creature bait, uh, maybe second to the Kraken Craw, but I'm going to call that a craw style bait is a different category than a creature bait. So definitely a super great creature bait. This is a seven pack. And I, what I do like about all these Guggen baits is they come in this hard shell packaging, which might take up a little bit more room in your tackle bag, but it really does uh, keep your baits in uh, top condition um, and they're not going to crumple or... Uh, kind of break in your bag if they're uh, kind of crammed together. Next couple of baits we got in here are, like I said, some of my favorite baits. I got some more Medita Bugs right here. This is in a sprayed lettuce color, which is uh, kind of cool. Next we got some more Bandita Bugs here. Some of my other favorite baits, and this is the Kraken Craw, the Junior Kraken Craw, um, the three inch size. Another one of my favorite baits. I do prefer the, the four inch size Kraken Craw, but this works really well on the back of a small finesse jig or uh, any kind of Ned Rig jig head, this could work out uh, really well. Another bait is the Guggen Baits Drag and Drop. This is the Guggen Baits Drop Shot Worm, something that I use quite a bit. I don't use it as often because a lot of times I'm fishing uh, small, shallow, grassy ponds, um, which is not necessarily the ideal thing for throwing a drop shot, but I do occasionally throw these on wacky rigs, and when I do go out to uh, some deeper, clearer, places that maybe have smallmouth, I do throw this on a, uh, on a drop shot. All right, the next couple of baits are just your regular size Kraken Craws. Pretty much in here, I cover all the bases. I have some worms, I have some creature baits, and uh, swim baits and stuff like that. You're just going to cover all your bases for soft plastic. So I got some craws right here. Let's start going through these a little bit more quickly. I got some more creature baits. This is the Trench Hog, something I don't use a whole ton, but it's still nice to have in the tackle box because it is, uh, it is a great bait that I have caught some fish on. I just uh, prefer the craw baits. Probably my favorite Guggen bait of all time. Maybe behind uh, the, the Guggen Squad Scout, their jerk bait, um, is the Slim Shape Worm. You can get this in a 9-inch size as well as a 6 and a half inch size, I believe is what this is. And it's just super versatile bait that catches you a lot of fish. And uh, especially where I'm fishing in these small ponds, a bait like this comes in handy uh, a lot. So uh, another one of my favorite baits. But coming down to the wire here, I don't want to go over every color, every duplicate bait that I have. But right here I got some Mondo Worms, two different colors, 10-inch Mondo Worms. I don't use these a whole lot in the spring or fall, but in the summer I do use these a lot. Weightless rigging um, for those slow-moving bass. And since it is a 10-inch worm, a bigger profile bait a lot of times can get you on a, a bigger fish. So uh, there's my Mondo Worms. The next bait is uh, not a Guggen bait. This is going to be one of the first times that a non-Guggen bait is appearing in my soft plastic section. And that's just going to be these Z-Man little streaks, I guess you would call them. But essentially what it is is a pearl-colored fluke. Always a great bait to have, whether you're weightless Texas rigging it. Or a lot of times these can work well on the back of chatter baits or swim jigs. Um, which again is a bait that I always like to throw. So another great bait, a little, uh, little fluke style bait. And uh, I think I only have maybe one or two more baits in here. 
that are not uh, duplicates. Actually, that might actually be it. I think I might have uh, maybe one more pack of Slim Shakes, maybe uh, a couple more packs of Kraken Craws, but that's pretty much everything that I have in my tackle box. Um, everything that you really need to go fishing. You don't need all this stuff, and I'm really thankful that I do have all of the stuff that I do. I do have quite a bit of tackle. I really save up all the money that I earn, all the gift cards that I get for Christmas and birthdays, and pretty much the only stuff I'm getting is fishing stuff because I really do enjoy um, going out and uh, collecting stuff as well as, of course, more importantly, going out and going fishing. In the near future, I'm going to be doing unboxing of some baits that I got um, with a few gift cards that I received for Christmas and my birthday. My birthday was just recently, um, but I'm going to be doing a couple unboxings of that stuff, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe down below if you're new to the channel, and uh, just stick with me for the next uh, month or two before it starts to get warm. Right now, we have about maybe 30 inches of snow outside on the ground, so I'm not really able to go fishing. It's really cold. Even ice fishing is a bit of a challenge because the top layer is a bit slushy on top of the ice, so it's a little bit sketchy. I might try to do it, but stick me with me for the next month or two, and uh, after that, we're gonna be going fishing all the time. The videos will start to pick up, and I'll start catching some big fish again. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with the channel over the winter months, because it is a little bit tougher for me to make videos. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If I have any questions about the tackle bag, anything I have in the tackle bag, anything, uh, any questions about fishing or the channel in general, please uh, comment them down below. I'm uh, happy to answer them, um, whatever you ask. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video, like I said. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I can't uh, can't wait for the fishing season to start up again. So uh, yeah, let's uh, close this one out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.